The Toyota Land Cruiser is riddled with bullet holes, and it is a miracle how former Pangasinan Governor Amado Espino Jr., together with his two companions, survived the ambush. Espino's police escort staff sergeant Richard Guerra was not as lucky. He was killed on the spot after sustaining multiple gunshot wounds. Espino's convoy was sprayed with bullets at the junction of Basista Street and Perez Boulevard in San Carlos, Pangasinan on Wednesday afternoon. Police estimate the gunmen at no less than 10. Talagang mga gun for hire group na ano, sabi nga hindi sila pipitsugin ano, based doon sa mga gamit na nakuha natin. Authorities recovered two getaway vehicles, two M16 rifles, two M14 rifles, magazines, and a grenade. Police are also searching for a black Toyota Wigo after it was seen waiting with the other two getaway vehicles before Espino's arrival. Authorities say they already have persons of interest. Death threats claimed by Espino are also being investigated. Meron siyang mga threats noon pa. No? Um, however, dahil sa kanyang uh, status sa buhay, being a former governor, a former congressman, and even a former police officer, ano, talagang merong mga threats sa kanyang buhay. Espino is in stable condition after sustaining gunshot wounds in his abdomen and right arm. Meanwhile, the driver of the Innova reported missing on Wednesday has surfaced. He said he escaped by crawling while the assailants left the crime scene. In 2016, Espino was included in the so-called narco list. President Rodrigo Duterte would later admit that government agencies had not been able to determine the veracity of the information on the list. For News 5, Dindo Flora, we are One News.